Hello, hello, YouTube people. So, I just got back from Barnes & Noble. And I thought I would share my first manga haul of the year. And it's upsetting because I've been waiting for my... Oh! Oh, never mind. Nothing, nothing good. It's pretty dope, though. Hunter Majin Buu. But yeah. I've been waiting for my right stuff. Right, right stuff, haul. But it's not coming in yet. I don't know what's going on. So that's going to have to wait. Till he gets here. But. To make that up. I went to Barnes & Noble. With my wife. She got mangas. So she wanted me to show them off also. Well she wanted them to be part of a. Video because I didn't really buy that many. So. So let's get started. First one is. The Flowers of Evil. By Shozu Oshimi. There's only one manga I know from this creator, and that's uh, Blood on the Tracks, just because YouTubers talk about it all the time, saying it's a really good one. So, that's all I know about it. To be honest, just collecting some mangas I'm actually interested in, so I hope she collects the rest of them, so I can read them also. But yeah, the first one is Flowers of Evil. Next one. Speaking of, Blood on the Tracks. When I saw her pick this up, well, I actually told her to pick it up because she picked this up. And I told her there's another work that she would probably like if she likes this. And that'd be Blood on the Tracks, Volume 1. So this is what a lot of YouTubers talk about, saying I've, that's a, a good... A good mystery? Something, something like that. Is it a mystery or a murder mystery? type thing but yeah so this i this too i probably won't read until she completes all of it so that's another read i'll have to do <clears throat> next up love to kill we actually started watching the anime we watched one episode of it not gonna lie to you i was bored the anime wasn't for me her, she fell asleep. Not because it was boring, but because, you know, she was tired. I don't know, I don't even know why she would pick this up if she fell asleep on that anime. So, who knows? Maybe she, she likes the manga more than the anime. But we didn't really pay attention to the first episode, so we can't really give a good review about it. So, alright, this, this one is weird. So, I bought the first a volume of this, and then I got rid of it. And then she found a TikTok video talking about this manga. And then she was interested, so while we were at Barnes & Noble, she bought the first three volumes. If you guys watched my video before, well, one of my shorts, YouTube shorts, you would know that I'm talking about Sweat & Soap. This manga is weird. It's not for me. So, yeah, that's this. I don't know why she bought this, but hey, yeah, it's her collection. So, she wanted to start doing a collection. So, oh, she got the first volume, second volume, and the third volume. So, so yeah, three volumes of Sweat and Soap. We'll see how much she really like it, if she actually continues reading them. But, yeah. That's weird. This manga is weird. It's not for me. So, next up. It's a really popular anime. I've never watched the anime. I've never read the manga. This is not mine. This is my wife's also. But it is a manga I would like to read also. Once she collects all the, the volumes of it. I'm talking about Komi Can't Communicate. It's a very wholesome anime. So, it's... Not bad. There. Oh, I was looking to the volumes. There was this one volume where. 
or it just oh man she is she's she's in the front cover and she's sitting down and yo that volume cover I was gonna buy it but you know it's not even for me it's my wife so <laughs> I know you guys I know you you know what I'm talking about for the people that have seen it before but yeah she got the first volume the second volume and the third volume so, this looks like a very wholesome anime and manga. I've, I I don't know anything about it, so I can't really judge it by the cover. So, all right, these are my pickup. I've been reading this. I follow this weekly, so this is a pickup I've been wanting to pick. Uh, I've been wanting to buy for a while, but I just haven't done so. Record of Ragnarok. This is a good read. For the people that's still sleeping on this manga, read it. The anime, don't watch it. It's trash. Why? Why do you do you all make great mangas into trash animes? I would never understand why. But this is a great read. Read it. Highly recommend. It's a great manga to read. This is a 10 out of 10 manga. It's not in my top 10 or top 20, but it's a great manga to read. Alright, so I got the first volume. The second volume, this... I think the third volume might be my favorite. Just because this was my favorite fight. But yeah. First, second, third, best cover, best fight. And fourth. So... I didn't see the fifth volume. I don't know if there's a fifth volume yet, but who knows? And <clears throat> this one, I didn't even know if I wanted to buy because they were hardcovers are expensive. So I have trouble buying hardcover books just because of how expensive they are. I don't justify paying twenty dollars per volume with these. Same same with JoJo's. That's why it takes me forever to buy the rest of the JoJo's. I'm talking about Fist of the North Star. If you've seen my last video, you know that I got the first two. So now, I started buying them little by little. Looks like Jota well. But yeah, so, I got Volume 3. Volume 4. This cover is hard. Hard. <laughs> when I said hard, I showed that off. <laughs> but yeah, volume three, volume four. Man, these, the qualities of the covers are nice though. Even the, oh wait, what? Oh. It's dope. This is our star. Yeah. It's definitely worth the $20. I just don't justify spending it, so. 4 and Volume 5. So, yeah. Imagine that. I missed out. I didn't go to that buy one 50% off hardcover thing because I'm stupid. I rarely go out to, to my local Barn & Nobles because it's like an hour and 30 minutes away from me. <sighs> Plus, I don't like going out and buying mangas in public, so. I'm a loner. I don't know what to say. But yeah, so I spent quite a penny. So this three books alone was twenty uh, $60. And then this, I don't even know how much this was. $13. You know how Barnes & Nobles are. Barely have any sales. So, always have to pay cover price for them. So these alone is like $100. Imagine that. And her, I don't know how much she spent. But yeah, so that's it for me. That was my manga haul. This is my first manga haul of the year. I thought it was successful. I got to collect more of these. I didn't even start reading it. You know, I'm thinking of actually finishing the series first. Till it's all printed out. And then I'm going to just binge it. Because that's how I like to, to do... And that's how I like to read animes. Honestly, I was planning on buying another volume of Gunts, but I, I, you know, I already went over my budget, so 
So it's either by Volume 5 or by Gaunt's. And I thought, I already have the single for Gaunt's, so I could just collect those little by little. So I ended up deciding to get Volume 5 of Fist of the North Star. Well, you two people, that is my manga haul. That is what I got from Barnes & Noble. And that is it for me. Peace.